Here I'm going to demonstrate the controls of Live's mixer with the Zero Cell Mark II in more detail. For more information, please consult the door setup guide found in the Automap main menu. Please ensure you've got the latest version of Automap installed from our website, www.novationmusic.com. Also, it's worth installing the latest update of Ableton Live from their website, www.ableton.com. For this integration, you'll need Live 8.1.3 installed. Once you've set up the Zero Cell Mark II according to the door setup guide, you can control the following mixer commands. To control the channel volumes, press and hold the preview button and move the fader, like so. You'll see the light assigned to the faders. You can now control the volumes of your channels in live. To control the pans, press preview and press one of the top buttons here and you'll see the light assigned to these buttons. Now you can control the pans in your mixer. To activate your tracks, simply just press these top row of buttons here. To turn the record arm on of your channels, press the bottom row here. To bank through channels of eight at a time, press and hold preview and page up. And now you'll see here I'm activating eight onwards. Or the channel volume faders. These top rotaries automatically map to devices parameters in live for you to control whichever plugin is selected. You can page up and down through pages of parameters in each device by using the page up and down buttons. These rotaries, buttons and crossfader are easily MIDI mappable with Live's MIDI Learn feature so you can set it up exactly how you like it.